Go to Start and search for MMC. Hit Enter to open Microsoft Management Console. Go to File, Add Remove Snap-in, and click Certificates. Select Computer Account and click Next. Select Local Computer and click Finish. Click OK to close the Snap-ins window. Now double-click the Certificates Local Computer folder to expand its view. Right-click the Personal folder and select All Tasks, Advanced Operations, Create Custom Request. The Certificate Enrollment Wizard will open. Click Next to proceed. Select the option Proceed Without Enrollment Policy, then click Next. For your template option, select No Template Legacy Key and ensure PKCS10 is selected on Request Format option, then click Next to proceed. Expand details by selecting the drop-down arrow, then click on the Properties button. On the General tab, type in the friendly name for your SSL certificate and description. Now, select the Subject tab, and on the Subject Name Type drop-down box, select Common Name as your option. Now, type your fully qualified domain name in the Value field, and then click the Add button. Now, add an organization, and provide a value of your organization name. Select Add, and proceed next to adding your organizational unit. Add a value of your department or some equal identifier. Next, add your locality, state, and country, with the values equating to your city, state or province, and country. Now, should your certificate require any alternative names, provide the DNS values related to those subject alternative names. Now, go to the Private Key tab and select the drop-down for Cryptographic Security Provider. Scroll down and set the key type to Exchange and then scroll back up and then select Microsoft RSA S-Channel Cryptographic Provider Encryption as your CSP. Select a key size of 2048 and then check the box for Make Private Key Exportable. so that you may now save your certificate signing request to a memorable location with a memorable file name. Select a file format of Base64 and then click Finish. Your certificate signing request will appear where you saved your file and can be opened with Notepad or any other word processing software. And that's it. 